here we're given a regression equation, which we developed in a previous example, to predict the price of a house based on its square footage. So if X represents the square footage, we can predict the price in thousands of dollars. So if we entered a thousand for the square footage for X, we could calculate a value for Y that would be the predicted price for houses with that square footage. Now we're gonna use this equation to predict the price of homes with two different square footage values. So all we have to do in each case is replace X with the given value for square footage. In the first case, we have Y hat equals 0 0.099 times 2700 plus 160.8, which works out to 428.1. So that corresponds to $428,100. And that technically means that the average house price we would expect for all the houses that are 2,700 square feet would be $428,000 approximately. And then in the second case, we can make a similar prediction for houses with 4,500 square feet. And that works out to just over 600,000. Then the question asks, which prediction do you expect to be more reliable? Now for this, we'd really have to go back and look at the data, which we don't have in front of us. But if you go back in the textbook and look at the data, you'll notice that in the range of houses that we have data for, 2,700 square feet falls within that range. And 4,500 square feet does not. None of the houses we have in our data set are nearly as big as 4,500 square feet. So it turns out that the first one is more likely to be reliable without external information. For all we know that now, it seems more likely that the first prediction would be more reliable because we've seen houses that are similar to it in our data set. The first example we call interpolation, where we are predicting within our data range. The second one we call extrapolation, where we're predicting beyond our data range. And in general, extrapolation is dangerous because we don't know quite what could be happening beyond the range of data we've actually looked at. So in general, interpolation is more reliable than extrapolation. So the first prediction is more likely to be reliable, even though we don't have a lot of information about it at the moment.